Hey there, network pros. This will be a hopefully short but fairly simple video on how to connect to manage a Cisco device uh, via the network. So you probably started out connecting with a console cable, but now you'd like to take it up a notch so that you don't always have to be at a computer that's less than six feet away from the uh, Cisco device you're trying to manage. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch PuTTY uh, still the old-fashioned way using the the serial connection. And you can do this. Now, if you haven't got PuTTY um, and you haven't even mastered connecting to the console via the console port, you need to go get PuTTY. Just, just do a quick internet search for PuTTY. It's free download. Uh, and then you connect by serial. And typically your serial ports are either COM1, 2, 3, or 4. Um, they could be five, six, or seven, but typically that's they're one of those. If you want to know what your COM port is, if you go, if you have a Windows machine, if you go into uh, Device Manager and look under COM ports, you'll see it there. Or you can just do trial and error one, two, and three. Okay, and you want 9600 baud, so I'm going to connect here. So let's see here. Okay, there I am. Let's see. I need to go to the enable prompt and enter my password. All right, so we've already established this connection via the console port. So that's a given, right? And now we're going to take it to the next level. We want to do network. So there's a couple things we need to do. They're, they're fairly fairly easy. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the VLAN has an IP address that um, we can reach from our network. So I know that my, I, my IP address on my network is like the 192.168.1 and then class C addresses after that. So what I'm going to do is I want to do this command. I want to configure the VLAN. So start with this config T. We always start config T, you know, means configuration from the terminal. Uh, we want to do interface or just INT uh, VLAN one. All right, do you see what I've done so far? I've gone to config mode and I've said I want to configure interface VLAN one. I want to set IP address for my VLAN one. Now, it's important that you also make sure this isn't an address that's already being used. So, um, it, you know, if in doubt, just choose something either on the really high side or on the really low side, because your possible addresses, you know, the last three numbers can any, be anywhere from 001 all the way up to 254. So maybe if you're in doubt, try like 251 or something. Okay, so, and then you also have to put a space in the mask which is, in my case, is a Class C. Most people who work in small networks or work at home, offices, or work from home use Class C networks. So I set my IP address. I want to do an end. I want to do a write mem, but not write EME. <laughs> write mem. Okay, got that saved. Now the next thing I need to do is make sure that I'm authorized for virtual terminal access. And the way you want to do that is another config T. This time it is going to be, uh, let's see, line VTY zero space. Yeah, so line space VTY space zero space four. And then we want to make sure we have these two elements. We need login, which is saying we're going to allow a login on that VTY. Also, we need to set a password. Has to have a password. If you don't establish a password, you're not going to be able to connect. All right, so I'm going to say password, Cisco. Yeah, I know, really complicated, right? Hopefully you pick something a little more complicated than that. All right, and then that's that. So do an end and another write. Oh, come on. Fat fingers today. WR space MEM. All right, so once we've done that, what we've said is we've established an IP address for our VLAN 1, which is the management VLAN. We've also established that the VTY uh, virtual terminal access has been enabled for login and we've established a password. So now we can leave PuTTY, or at least leave this session of PuTTY. Okay, now I want to launch PuTTY again. Now this time, instead of choosing uh, uh, Telnet, like here, or SSH, this time what I want to do is, I I'm sorry, instead of using Serial, what I want to do is use Telnet. The telnet I put in the address that I set up one and two one six eight dot zero dot oh no I'm sorry not one uh dot one dot one one two okay and connect and there's my connection all right so that's it 
So again, if you've been connecting by the terminal, you know, you've been using the little blue cable and you've always had to stay within, you know, six feet of the of the device because that's the way you have to do it when you use the console cable. Uh, now you can move to a more comfortable location somewhere else on the network. You just need to do those commands. Establish the IP address for the VLAN and then uh, make sure you enable the uh, the virtual line uh, configuration, the login and the password. And make sure you write those things to mem so that when you reboot, your device doesn't lose those settings. All right, hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for watching.